Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 316. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back, like for reals. Thank you. It is a hump day. Hump day! That's from my Aunt Barb. Thanks for watching, Aunt Barb. I love you. Uh, it's August 28th. It's also a work day. It's time to get to work. Got some PSAs, right? Been talking a lot about zip, or excuse me, area codes in the last few days. Yesterday was 315. I labeled my placard wrong. I put the wrong date earlier this week. Just been a little bit of a hot mess, right? Um, and so, anyway, we got it right today. It's the 28th. Today's 316, which is also the area code for Wichita, Kansas. So, shout out to Wichita um, and one of their most famous, re or, um, yeah, what is it? It's not a resident. Whatever, somebody who was born there, whatever you call that, uh, descendants, uh, Barry Sanders from Wichita, right? Shout out. What's up, Barry? Love you, man. Saw your kid on ESPN on the uh, Madden rating show. Love it. Um, and I wonder, that must be the boy that went to uh, USC and ran in track. Anyway, uh, and also Pizza Hut's from Wichita. Nice little city um, that most people just drive right on by. All right. So anyway, yesterday, uh, as I was going through my day, I'm like, man, I really need a haircut. My hair, you know, like I needed a haircut. I thought I was going to get a cut in Chicago last week. Travel plans got messed up. I ended up at a different barbershop. It was not a pleasant experience. Like it, it was better than it was, but still, you know, it's like, this is not a great hairdo. So I was looking for a place, reached out to a couple of places. One never responded. I started to get upset about that. I'm like, nope, remember eight out of 10 things suck, right? You got to find the two. <coughs> and then another place. Uh, engaged, but then never responded. So later in the day, I was like, gosh, I, I got to figure this out, right? Like, this is just too stressful for me. I don't like going into a different place. I'm just uncomfortable. Anyway, long story short, I engaged with a place called the Platinum Salon because I like the name because let's be honest, I got platinum hair, right? And as this progressed, the lady's like, yeah, come in tomorrow, two o'clock. You know, she directs me to, she's like, you can either reach us through Facebook. And then I look at it, and it's like Platinum 315. And then their address is 315 Osage on 315. And I'm like, this just feels right. Could be coincidental. I don't know, but let's just check it out. Should be fun, right? So anyway, just sharing some number stuff with you, right? I don't know what any of that means. It just feels like it's somehow connected. And I just, yeah, feels good. I like it. All right. Anyway, uh, first things first, I'm still the realist. I'm also encouraged. I'm encouraged by some things that have happened recently that I believe are precursors to bigger uh, things. The first one, um, I've, I've spoken often about how I love the good parts of Me Too. Of course, there's going to be people that abuse it. But the, uh, as a result of that, just uh, the the spotlight is often being shown on things that, you know, weren't looked at earlier. One of them that I just love what's going on right now in our country is that we're going after these uh, opioid manufacturers, distributors, you know, people who profited from selling prescription drugs at a high level, to be, knowing that they were driving addiction. So it came down Monday afternoon, uh, like three, a $574 million fine uh, that Johnson & Johnson has to pay the state of Oklahoma. And again, like, I don't know what, how much coverage this gets elsewhere, but the Oklahoma had already sued and Teva Pharmaceuticals and uh, Purdue. Purdue's the one that I've talked about where the family said, hey, go sell more. Uh, both of them settled out of court. They didn't want to go to court. They didn't want have to happen to them uh, what just happened to Johnson & Johnson. They're going to appeal. It's going to be tied up. But it's just Mike Hunter ran here. The attorneys general in Oklahoma ran on the platform. I'm going to go get these people and we're going to take that money. And we're going to set up programs to make sure we don't go through this again. He's halfway there. Congratulations, Mike. Love it. Keep it up, please. And I would ask him and everybody else, don't stop here. Seriously, for this to change, people have to feel the pain, right? Obviously, the people have felt the pain of addiction and dependence. But meanwhile, the people that did it to them, they walk away scot-free. So now we're going after the companies. Companies aren't people, right? Companies are made up by a bunch of people, and this is going to make things more difficult at their job. My call to action is go get those people that profited from it, take that money away from it, and throw their ass in jail. Seriously. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, 
Like we make a big deal and you hear, you know, like when it's a, when it's an awful story, you know, somebody cut, kills a child, this, that, like, you know, we're all up in arms, blah, blah. You have these executives who are leading these companies who are killing thousands of people every single year. We do nothing about it. So why would they change, right? So they get slapped on the wrist. They get a little public change. They're no different than Jeffrey Epstein, right? They're allowed to do whatever they want to and then go make some more money. I'm like, oh, go back to your your life of luxury. Like if we want change, we're going to have to change and we're going to have to start holding people accountable. However, I am encouraged that we're headed on the right track. All right. <coughs> All right. So here's my thought of the day. You thought she was joking, didn't you? Right. So a video emerged this week, in the last couple of days of Carly Lloyd from the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team kicking a 55 yard field goal in practice. Now, before we get too excited here, right, I understand that that's practice, but I got to tell you, if uh, my football team, if the Green Bay Packers, which I don't is Mason Crosby still playing? He's like 100, right? And he went through a, a streak a couple years ago where I thought it was over for him. Regardless, if your team needs a kicker, why would you not be interested in putting a two-time World Cup team leader on your team? Like, hey, you know that whole chicks can't play in the NFL? F that. We're bringing Carly Lloyd on. That would be amazing. Girl, if you happen to watch this, please, please go get it. I would love to see that. Not only would I love to see that, but I'm telling you right here, right now, when we get the Ville up and running and we're cooking with gas, one of the things that we'll do from the very beginning is every sport that we have for boys, they're going to have for girls. And if we can field enough girls to have a, uh, a girls only football team, we will. If not, the girl, like Addison's already asked me, Daddy, can I play football? And my answer is absolutely, sissy. If you want to get out there with those boys, and hit them and, and just know that they're going to try and hit you harder because you're a girl. Go get it. Right. I love it. Right. All right. With that, I'm done for the hands up. Peace out. We're better together. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll be back tomorrow for a thirsty Thursday. I look forward to seeing you then. Deuces.